What's up, yo? Hey, everybody. So we're going to start off today's session. In today's session, we're going to go over the fundamentals of the week and the market updates, what has happened since the markets have opened and what we should be anticipating to see play out for the rest of the week. So starting off, we're going to start off with the fundamentals um wednesday today um tomorrow we're going to have gbp cpi mom we're going to have cpi yoa for may um we're going to have card core retail sales that's a strong fundamental um the cpi will obviously be the strongest fundamental of the day but we also have card um we'll have us we we'll have the USD, we we'll have the New Zealand dollar fundamental here. Um, we have the Swiss franc interest rates, which I think will be the strongest fundamental of the week. And then that will be it. No, we also have interest rate for the pound. Yeah, I forgot about this. We also have the interest rate for the pound. So it's going to be a, fun, a strong week based on the fundamentals that we have but not so volatile that you won't be able to trade, right? That's what I love about this week. Um, so yeah, on Friday, core retail sales for the pound, service PMI for the euro, manufacturing PMI for the pound, you know, manufacturing sales for the card, not such strong fundamentals, although they do have some vol volatility in them. So um, Friday won't be that much of a hard crack, right? Um, so we have Thursday, the strongest fundamental of the week will be placed there. And then we have Wednesday, tomorrow, some strong fundamentals will also be available. So let's look at the markets and see what's up with that. We're just going to be talking about JPIX and DXY. So, so JPIX, you can see here prices are currently on a resistance structure. I'll be anticipating to see prices kind of push lower so that we actually see prices take off. Um, I do believe that prices are still in a bullish trend. So we just have to wait and see how prices will be reacting once they reach down here so that they can actually take off and, you know, reach the targets up here on JPIX. DXY prices were pushing higher, creating higher highs, although we can see the trend is clearly not strong. So this is a clear retracement or correction of this strong impulse wave. So I'll obviously be anticipating to see prices, you know, push lower from here, but obviously the trend is still bullish. So I'm not really going to be looking for any entries until prices break below here. So um, that's what I'm anticipating to see happen on DXY, JPIX, and the fundamentals of the week. If you found value in this video, consider subscribing. Until next time, guys, appreciate you all. Take it easy out there. Peace.